Hey friends, Matt Rezac here from leatherpunk.com. Thanks for joining me today. And we're gonna talk all about eyelets and grommets. I'll show you what the differences are between them. We'll look at the special tools that are used and then we'll bring it all together so you can see how it's done. So let's jump right in. Okay, so what's the difference between eyelets and grommets? It's very simple, it has nothing to do with the size or color. Uh, a, an eyelet is a one-piece unit made up of this top part here, which is a flange, and the bottom part here, which is called the barrel. A grommet is very much the same thing. It has a similar piece that looks like an eyelet, but then it also has this second piece here. So an eyelet is a one-piece unit, a grommet is two pieces. And that second piece, this washer, goes on the back and then you would use your setting tool at that point and that's going to work better for a thinner material or if you really need some extra hold. Uh, for most applications working with leather you can probably get away with using eyelets. I do. Uh, in fact we're going to spend most of our time working with eyelets once you see how they're set. Grommets are pretty much the same thing. And so when we set eyelets we have to have a specific tool for each size eyelet. So this, this flange has to fit perfectly on this piece here which is called the anvil. And you see it kind of locks into place and then we can use our setting tool. So let me show you what that looks like. Now there are two types of eyelets. The first type, the kind that I use most frequently, is called a rolled rim eyelet. And so the barrel sort of rolls down. With uh, the other type of eyelet, it's called a scored eyelet. When, when we look at these up close and compare them side by side, you can see that a scored eyelet has these little cuts that have been made uh, at the end of the barrel. Instead of, and so instead of rolling down when we strike our tool, it's going to fan out and that's going to provide a little bit more uh, hold. So it's kind of a hybrid between a rolled rim eyelet and a grommet. So let me show you what that looks like. Uh, we're going to take a piece of scrap leather here and I'll put one of the rolled rim eyelets in the holes that I've pre-punched. And then this is the scored eyelet here on this side. And you notice when we turn around the leather like this, you can move it around, it doesn't fall out. You want that hole to be just big enough to fit the barrel, okay? And we're going to use a medium weight mallet and just going to tap it lightly. The first couple, couple punches, couple hits, we just want to tap it lightly and then apply a little bit more force. And that looks really nice. Very professional looking. It's very smooth on the back. And you notice the front still retains the proper shape. With a scored eyelet, it's really the same same thing. And see the difference? Okay, now for, for bigger eyelets, these tools may not, they may not even exist for some of the larger sizes. So let me show you what uh, the next step up is. Uh, this is a more precision tool for setting larger uh, eyelets. Now this is supposed to be mounted on a machine. I don't have such a machine. So what I did, because we have to be able to set this anvil down, I can't just balance it like that. So I took a piece of two by four, brought to you by Leather Punk, and I put a hole in there, just the right size for the anvil. So now I have a place to work when I'm setting these larger eyelets. In the larger eyelets you can see that fits in there nicely and it's really the same thing. So take a piece of leather, put it in there, set it down and make sure it's locked into place. Okay. And there you go. Very nice, very nice. Let me show you what that looks like from start to finish. We're gonna punch a hole in the leather and uh, set the eyelet. We'll give you a, a sort of a wider view, wider angle.
Okay. So I need to punch a hole. I'm going to take a hole, hole punch that's matched up to the right size. Just give it a good hit. Okay. And that's it. Let me show you what happens if you don't have the right size tool, okay? This looks like it should work for these, and it kind of almost does, but it doesn't quite snap into place. So it's not sitting on there perfectly, it kind of wiggles around. Now look what happens when you set that with the wrong anvil. And this is probably the wrong tool, too. Okay, I use the same exact amount of force, but it certainly doesn't look as nice. And look at when we see the front, it's very, very misshaped. So it's bent, doesn't work right. So you have to use the right tool, okay? All right, well that's it for Eyelets and Grommets. I'm Matt Rizak, see you next time.